Jamaican Negronis. That's the kind of cocktail that you're gonna do with 12. You can drink it neat on the rocks as well. So let's take a taste. First, I want you to nose 12. 12, you wanna, oh, this one is your 12 here. You wanna nose 12 with one nostril closed. So close one side because the bouquet starts to open up on 12 slowly. The other thing about 12, when you look at the coloring, can you see the difference in the coloring from the rest of the portfolio? All of our coloring comes from the barrel. There is no additives in our rums. No caramel at all? So. The last thing that we do when it's bottled yeah. is add in half a percent of caramel for consistency, okay. but it's not taste, okay. just for color, just to make sure that the colors are straight on. But the majority of the, of the look of the, of the liquid is barrel aging. We, that's why the char is so important on what we use because that barrel is where we're pulling out everything. The tannins is coming from that barrel. The viscous taste is coming from the barrel, right? So take a taste of the 12. What did you smell on the nose of the 12? I got coffee. Coffee, that's right. What did I tell you about Blue Mountain Coffee? Jamaica's known for its coffee. Where is the nutrients of the soil coming from? That mountainous sludge, the soil that's coming down and sitting down in the in 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 those areas right what do you taste kind of reminds me of coffee that's right that's right where do you think that comes from some of the char yes definitely some of the char but also if you're saying that coffee is grown a lot coffee is huge so that's right get some of those flavors in the soil as well yep what is also the caribbean known for water so our water you missed that part but i'll read i'll <laughs> tell you again too because okay. it's very important for you to remember this limestone rich water okay that's Absolutely. where you get that softness on the palate Absolutely. So, soft rich no it's coming from the ground it's is jamaica it, on a limestone yes so, okay. So our, our area is limestone. It's all limestone mountains, limestone rock. Um, when we cut through uh, to make the toll road to go from Kingston to Montego Bay, <laughs> it was crazy what they had to do to cut through all that limestone rock. Right. Yeah, and now when you drive through it, I mean, you see it, you see it, it's beautiful. So it's rich, mineralized but we're also known for dark chocolate. 70% dark cacao. So if I was to break a piece of chocolate here for you that's 70% and then you ate it and then drank yeah. this, man. Miguel, do we, todavía tenemos el chocolate? Because I bought 70% chocolate just recently. Really? Tenemos el chocolate para los... ¿Dónde está? Let's do it. Yeah. Oh, right there. Where? Oh, let's do it. Oh, this is ninety percent, but that's okay. That's all right. That's all right. Let's do it. It'll, it'll, it'll do. Just rip it open. Yeah, I know, right? I didn't want to just rip it open, but. So everybody take a piece and then you're gonna taste, take, eat the chocolate first and then taste your rum. <laughs> you know? Because I sure didn't have one, so. <laughs> so okay, two more. You bring the rum, I'll bring the That's berry. Right. right, now taste the chocolate. Drink a little bit of that rum. What do you think? 
I feel like it smoothed it out even more. Mm -hmm. like the heat. The mouthful. Like, wow. The yeah. mouthful. Right? Mm -hmm. Mouthful. So this is just a idea of the type of things that you get from that Jamaican rum. The area in the areas in Jamaica, the different parishes are very different in soil content, very different in environment, in in quality of air, in uh, moisture, right? So everybody everybody has a different area. That's why Ray and Nevu taste so different from this. It's sharper because New Yarmouth, where we make Ray and Nevu, is a totally different parish, totally different taste profile they make but they they grow bananas there it's all banana fields there right what did you think of the 12. it's very smooth this is my favorite yeah it reminds me a lot of toffee you get dark chocolate yeah, yeah. and that's just been one of the most fascinating like pairings <laughs> i've had in a long time and that's the thing people don't think about rum with delicacies they don't think about rum with luxuries. And rum is all of that, mm -hmm. right? All right, so on the mat, it says 21, but that's not what you're drinking today. I've got something special for you. You're drinking the 15, which is our newest expression, right? The 15 came out last year, this baby here. We have two, three bottles, sell it, guys. Black River yeah. Cask. Can you explain the context of where cask? The, the rare part? Yeah. Oh, it's sitting in the barrel longer. Heard. Yeah. Okay. Sitting in the barrel longer. Absolutely. Yeah. 15, Black River Cast. What do you think that stands for? Minimum 15 years. The river in St. Elizabeth is okay. the Black River. Okay, that makes sense. Absolutely. Yeah. Not many people go and enjoy that river, but it's one of the most beautiful rivers. People like to go to Dunn Rivers and they do the falls, and, but Black River is a lovely, lovely, lovely place because it's very luscious. Eh, you gotta have a good guy to go there, but it's one of the rivers that I love. Yeah. What part of Jamaica is that in? St. Elizabeth. This is in the parish of St. Elizabeth. So 15, the newest one to the portfolio. In the world of aged rums, you gotta have something that bridges the 12 and the 21. In most portfolios, the 15s are the ones that claim a lot of awards. There's a reason why, because for most 15s that are minimum aged rums, the range is longer. So if it's 15 years is the minimum drop, what do you think the range is? Can be from 15 to 21? 30. Almost. Come back a little. Oh. 25? Yep. So this is not going to be mixed with anything, please. <laughs> this is a neat, cipher drink. Let it open up. Take your time. Savor it. And as we do that, let's do it now. Take a nose of it. Tell me what you smell. What do you smell on the nose of the 15? What is Appleton Estate known for? What was the first thing in production that it was known for? <laughs> the orange. Oh, oh yeah. That. You lost it somewhere here, right? Mm -hmm. And then now it comes back to you. Joy wanted to ensure that people came back to what they loved about Appleton Estate, that orange top note. So it becomes much more forward again, which it should. Mm -hmm. How are you? And then, what do you? What else do you smell on the nose? No wrong answers. Not getting anything. No. 
Mm -hmm. Okay. I think it's like smoother, like floral. Yes. And what I like, I feel like this one goes more like milk chocolate. Right. On, on the palette. It's like, there's like a richness. Yeah. This one, I think more dark chocolate. Right. Now, taste it now and see what you get on the, on the palette. You like it? <laughs> I feel less of a burn with the 15 yeah. than I did with the, uh, yeah. With the uh, well, yeah. Good. What are you getting on the on the on the tasting notes though? I don't like to tell people. I like mm -hmm. people to open it up on their own. Let me also do this. I think definitely bacon spices and again that milk chocolate. Yeah, I feel like it feels take clean. slight, yeah. just a little bit of water. Mm -hmm. And um, it put in the 15. Just some, a little. We have some straws in there. Ah, so oh, that's right. You could just, yeah, open those. Like a drop of yeah. water. And then taste the 15. Un poquito de agua. Le puse un poquito. Oh. And even though we're in a tiki bar, I'd love to see y'all do stuff like that. Where somebody comes at the end of the night and they're sitting there and they say, I just want something. I don't want a cocktail. I just want to eat. And you give them some of that 15, a couple of drops of water and say, go ahead, try that. We call it the ritual. <laughs> I feel like there's like a minerality to it. Yes. So technically the water that we do use when we do the drop is a mineralized water because it, like I said, it gives it, it opens it up for us, the water that's already there. But you're gonna get a lot more vanilla in the 15. And as you said, it's not as, it's not as um, uh, creamy. It now becomes very dry. Right? So the dryness is where you want people to figure out if they want something that is neater style, you know, and they can, um, if you're trying to get somebody who's like, you know, I usually like really dry style whiskeys or bourbons or scotch or, hey, the 15 is a great option in a rum setting, you know, because everybody comes here for rum, but then there is their go-to that they normally drink. Right, let's be honest. The category of rum is not everybody's everyday go to. Not, yet. not thank you. <laughs> but we can make it that. You just took the words out of my mouth. We can make it that by showing them how to drink rum differently. Right. Yeah. So, what you want to remember about Appleton Estate is minimum aged rums, blend of rums, aged in tropical climate and in American number one X bourbon barrels. The top note is orange peel throughout mm -hmm. the portfolio and the ranges are different based on the expression. We are a blend of rums. 40% is the ABV on all with the exception of eight year, which is 43. I know we don't have that for tasting, but could you just tell us oh, a little bit about uh, and the 30? Because okay. we have the 30 downstairs. Right. So the 21 is as dry as you can get in our portfolio, right? It is a lot more about the orange peel uh, top note, and it stays linear there. There's not uh, other florals that you're going to get from the 21 per se. It's meant to be sip neat. The range is 21 to 30 on the 21, right? It was at the time when it was created, it was meant to only be a giveaway, a gifting option. But in the world of premium age rum, we're now seeing neat pour is everybody's, you know, go is what people are starting to get into. So we've made it very more accessible, the 21. The 30 is an LTO. Mm -hmm. 
you got it, it's gone, it's done. <laughs> it's not coming back. <laughs> so you guys are very unique that you have that there. I would say um, 30 is one of those that, you know you've got some somebody special in the house. They get a pour of that at a premium price. Um, but the range on that is a lot shorter. It's 30 to 35. How, um, how have you see it, seen it like priced out? Like, uh, like $50 a shot. Uh, <laughs> I've seen that. Um, oh gosh, who was it that had it pre-COVID in the village? I'll ask Ben, one of his accounts. And yeah, they, they did like a $50 shots of it. Um, they bought like crazy amount of cases of it which is like okay y'all do that i think they were celebrating their 30 year anniversary which is why they bought it yeah mm -hmm. um but it's a shorter it's a shorter range and as i was telling everybody else the reason why is the angel share because of tropical aging is very large it's six percent average per year so on a expression that's older the range goes down because you're protecting every drop mm -hmm. and you can't really go as long as the rest of the expressions. You can't do 30 to 40. The next level up would be 30 to 50, mm -hmm. right? Um, the 50 is a true 50, right? And that, oh my God, that bottle's like $5,000 for that. Have you had that one? No, unfortunately. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. I've had the 23, which was only sold in Jamaica. It was only sold at the estate, right? Um, and I have a 30 at home, yeah, which I protect. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's it. the good thing about Appleton Estate that you all can look forward to, especially in a rum environment, we're always innovating. So we got something coming down the pipeline. We have a 17 that's coming. Trader Vic original was Appleton 17, right? People don't even know that story. He came to Appleton and asked for a rum to be made and that's how 17 came about okay. yeah. yeah that's how it ended up in the original Mai Tai mm -hmm. and then we've got a 40 that's coming okay. and that's to celebrate Joy's 40th anniversary yeah the ruby yeah so we're always innovating you always have a portfolio and I could tell everyone there's something for everybody in this portfolio from the person who's starting to drink rum to someone who can, the palate is sophisticated. Yeah. Is there a specific reason you don't have a, like a white rum? So we did have Appleton Special, which was called Genesis before. Um, we wanted to make sure that Appleton Estate kept its integrity of the brand and not value, become a value brand. No. When you go to Jamaica and you go to all the resorts and you ask for a cocktail, they'll either make they're either making you with Appleton Special Gold or White. So we do we do make it, but that's purely a two year old rum. It sits nowhere in this portfolio, so we had to get rid of that. But in Jamaica, you can't take it away from Jamaica. <laughs> Crazy. So yeah, um, at all the dance hall, it's on every you know. <laughs> It's either that or Ray and Nephew. So Ray and Nephew, uh, I didn't see it. Yet. Oh, we have, uh, yeah, we have two it. bottles yeah. downstairs. Ray and Nephew is unaged. It is our only unaged rum. It's made in New Yarmouth. It's 63% proof, but 100, 63% uh, alcohol, but 126 proof. I'm saying that directly to you. <laughs> 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 It is no joke. It creeps up on you. It's not something that immediately when you take a shot, you're like, oh, fire. No, it takes its time. Well, for those of us who've been drinking it crazy like forever, um, it takes its time. Um, but it's got a lot of banana, floral, pineapple notes that mix really well for tropical style drinks. It is our bartender's baby. I mean, the guys at Macau Employees Only, they shot it at the end of the night. 
I was in a like camp run amok Ray and nephew cabin in 2019. Yeah. So yeah. That was. Yeah. Everyone came over for the Ray shots, the Ray ties. <laughs> yeah. 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 No, Ray and nephew is a special. It's a special run because people think overproof and they think it's gonna just like shoot off your. It's gonna like blow out your palate and it doesn't. It it gives you that one and then it stops and then you're like oh okay and that's where people get fucked up <laughs> <laughs> so yeah um but yeah it's the two rums that we have in our portfolio at this time we uh, we did um purchase two french style rums but they sit in our global portfolio um uh Très Rivier. keep saying it wrong mm -hmm. How you doing today? Hi. 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 That's funny. Nobody <laughs> Yeah. So we're expanding. We're expanding, and I'm happy to have you guys working with us. Thank you for always supporting the brands. Um, as I told Linda, anytime you want me to come back, I'd love to do an industry night here. Yes. Invite some folks from you know. I think it, especially now everybody's coming back out. Some people are coming back to New York for the first time in two years. Yeah. So I'd love to do something with you guys here. Absolutely. Yeah. Love that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd love to do an industry night. And before we finish, could I get a picture with you on the staff? Sure. Of course. Thank you guys for coming out today. Thank you for putting it together.